Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotuts.com. Lately, because of school, work, family, Octotuts, the other Octo sites, and a new clothing line that I'm trying to start up, my mind's been all over the place and I have no idea where my head's been at. So because of that, I thought of a really creative little design that I made in Photoshop and the actual process of it was really simple, uh, but the meaning and the message behind it is really cool and overall the effect looks really cool. So I took this picture and this picture and made this. And I like to call this the lose my head design. The basic breakdown of this design is that we're gonna erase my head and add some cool brushes and effects to where my head would have been. Now to make this design work, we need two pictures. We need a picture of the background and a picture of like you or whoever else that's gonna be your main subject in the middle with his or her hands up like so. So the simple process would have been taking this picture, putting it over the background image, and then just erasing the head away. But let's see what happens when we do that. Let's choose the eraser tool. And as you can see, when I start erasing away, the background uh, is a little, it's slightly darker than uh, the picture that we have on the front. Now, when I erase over here, the house and everything matches perfectly. It's just the sky color that slightly changed during this time period. So unfortunately, things are gonna get a little more complicated. Now, if you do have two images that are exactly the same and the background color and everything is exactly the same, then yeah, you could just put one on top of the other and erase the head. But because I don't have that right now, we're going to take a little more complicated approach to this and uh, we're actually going to cut out the entire person and then align it and then just go from there. So let's get started with that. I'm just going to delete this layer for now. And the first thing we're going to do is go back to this image and we're going to concentrate on this image. I'm going to double click to unlock the background layer and press OK to that. And now what we want to do is choose the magnetic lasso tool. It might be hidden behind the lasso tool or the polygonal lasso tool. So just click, hold, and drag onto the magnetic lasso tool. We're going to zoom in really close. And then pretty much you just want to click and move along whatever you want to cut out. And it's going to automatically, um, I guess, magnetically latch onto uh, the color that you want to cut out. Now, let's say you go a little bit wrong and it puts like a little bullet point somewhere that you don't want it to. Just press the delete button and it'll go away. Now, this will take a while because you kind of need to do it precisely. So I will see you guys in a second after I have all of this done. All right. And now we have the main person or the main subject selected. And before we feather this or make any changes to it, I'm going to click and drag this rough cut over to the other image. So select the pointer tool and then just click and drag. And it's just taking a little while here because it is a fairly large image. And okay, that looks pretty good. And then what we're gonna do now is we need to feather this a little bit. So we're gonna go to select, modify, expand. And actually by a little bit, I mean a lot. Uh, I'm going to expand this by, let's say, 15 pixels. See if that looks good. Okay. And then I'm going to click on uh, Select Again, Modify, Feather. And we're going to feather this by 10 pixels. And that's looking pretty good. And then now we're going to click and drag this image onto the other image again. And then we're going to hide the other image with the rough cut. I'm going to align this so it fits. And that looks good. Now we have a couple things to fix here. If we zoom in closely, we did feather this image, but we can still see just a slight difference. If you can see the, um, the, like the border around the image is a little bit lighter than the background image. And we have a couple changes to make because as you can see over here, the background is blurred. Now the camera unintentionally uh, blurred the background and focused on the subject in this image, but in the background image, everything is in focus. So what we're gonna do to make these changes or to fix these changes is we're gonna select the background layer, go to filter, blur, 
and we're going to add a Gaussian blur. And the radius is going to be up about 6 pixels. And press OK. And that's looking pretty good. And what we're also going to do is double click on that layer, click on color overlay, and add the color white. We're going to do soft light, and we're going to bring the opacity way down. Just enough so it matches uh, the image that's on top. We just want to kind of brighten it up so the images blend together nicely. Okay. And the opacity at about 14 or 15% works perfectly. So let's press OK to that. And lastly, there are a couple minor changes that we need to make. If we zoom in over here, you can see that this is an error right there. So I'm just going to select the, uh, the eraser tool with a very light brush and then have that layer selected and just kind of erase it. And that makes it a little bit better. And just minor things like that, you could just go around and erase. Um, this isn't matching very well. And I mean, other than that, it's looking pretty good. Now, the reason I'm kind of going through these details and showing you guys how to fix everything is because I will have these two images in the video description below, just in case you don't have um, a good camera to take pictures of yourself, or if you just are too lazy to go out and take those pictures, you could use these two pictures and uh, make the design or make the effect on your own. So with that being said, we have pretty much all the minor details and everything done. Now to uh, kind of blend it together even more, what I'm gonna do is make a new layer. So Command Shift N or Control Shift N if you're on Windows, press OK to that. We're gonna fill this layer in with black and then change the layer style uh, to screen. Now this is gonna make it look like there's nothing there, but that's exactly what we want. We're gonna double click on that layer and click on Gradient Overlay. We want our gradient to go from black to white, and we're going to have the style set to radial. And then we're going to reverse this and set the scale up to 150%. Uh, so we're going to put the blend mode to soft light, and then just bring the opacity down to, let's see, 20, 25% would do. Actually, 20% is looking pretty good. So let's press OK. Now, so far, everything's set, everything's good, and we have the image, the background image, and the foreground image with the main person. Now what we need to do is get rid of this head. So I'm going to zoom in here, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to choose the uh, magnetic lasso tool and just kind of go around. We'll have the layer selected, and then just kind of go around the collar area or the neck area. And this one just shouldn't take that long. And that's looking pretty good. And then just click around and come back. Now what we're going to do is click on Select, Modify, Expand. I want to expand this by maybe two pixels. Let's do three pixels. And then I'm going to click on Select, Modify, Feather by two pixels and press OK. And then we're just going to press Delete to get rid of it. And then Command D or Control D to deselect. So we have our neck cut out. Now what we're going to do is select the eraser tool with a light brush and then just kind of erase the rest. So that is looking pretty good. Now the reason we needed this rough edit, as you see if I bring this back up, we have my head there again. The reason we need this is just for the head because when we put the particles and the brushes inside of the head, we need a template for it to go around. So what we're going to do is just hide, we're going to hide the layer that we erased the head and then we're going to bring this rough cut up. And then we're going to choose the eraser tool and erase everything but the head. Okay. And you don't read an exact cut of the head, just kind of a rough little estimate. That looks pretty good. So let's bring up all layers and it looks completely normal now, but now what we have is a body and just the head. So now all we need to add are those brushes and the effects. Now I downloaded a couple of brushes uh, to put these uh, uh, these effects or whatever you want to call it to put those in the head. So I will provide the links to those brushes in the video description below too. And then now after this, we just kind of want to select the brush tool, select whatever brush we want, and then just use this head as a guideline and just put them in. What we're gonna do is press Command or Control if you're on Windows and click on the thumbnail of the head. And now as you can see, we have the head selected. And that's all we need it for. We're gonna hide this layer now, and we're gonna make a new layer behind the body layer. So Command Shift N or Control Shift N if you're on Windows. And then now with the brush tool selected, whatever we want to um, kind of put in there, 
as you can see, it stays in the boundaries of the head. So if I deselect this, it gives us the head shape. So that's kind of exactly what we want. So now what I'm going to do is uh, select the different brushes that I downloaded and then just kind of um, use my imagination or just kind of do whatever I want and just make it look kind of cool. So let's see. Let's see if I can find these brushes. All right, there's one. Let's see, two clicks of that. Maybe one click right there. And I have a couple paint splatter brushes that I want to use. That looks like a good one. All right, and then I'm just going to deselect that. And there we go. We're pretty much done. Now, this isn't a complete design. I mean, you could add whatever else that you want, add more effects, just kind of go on ahead and add whatever you want. You could add fireworks coming out of the head. You could, you could really just get really creative with this and add whatever you want to uh, make the message even clearer and make the message bigger. But that's pretty much all that I have for you guys in this tutorial today. After this, it's in your hands. Do whatever you want with it and make it look really cool. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, this is Octotoots.com, and I will see you guys later.